I traveling through the bush and just going on change the goat, climbing a tree. You know what I mean? You keep me feet. You see how I'm sweating? Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> and I don't know, I feel good. You don't need a gym membership up here. No, no, no. I do my own workout. Yeah. Stay fit, you know? I could climb steel, I just climb a lot of big trees. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for which kind of fruit are you normally going for? Oh, you well. Climb? I guess breadfruit probably. Breadfruit, sometimes I climb coconut tree, I call into how tall it is. Because I don't want to go up too high this time, you know? Yeah. When I was younger, I used to do that work, climbing. Getting super high ones. That's scary yeah, because there's nothing much to hold on to. Hold on until you reach up. Yeah. Yeah, but as I get in age you now, I choose which tree to climb and how to climb it. Yeah. You know that way. <laughs> I feel the same with my skateboard career. Yeah. I choose the day when it's the day to try something. Yeah. It's not every day is not I'm gonna push myself. I yeah. used to ride bicycle all the time in New York, all over the place. And when I come here, I don't buy a bicycle. I just stay normal. You know. Mm. Well, I still could ride bicycle, you know, yeah. good too, you know. Nice. But I give up some things for some things, you know what I mean? You gotta choose the right days. Yeah, yeah. you know. And I know that feeling. I think that is the right time to choose certain things. Because nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow could bring our next day. Some people choose to study about the day coming. Why does, I don't worry about the day coming. I worry now about this day. When this day done, you have a day coming. When it come, then the day I study it. But it don't make sense. You today and you study what you go do tomorrow. Tomorrow never come. Hmm. You know what I mean? You see somebody today in the morning, you just see them. That's life. You understand? So you have to adjust yourself to a lot of things like that. When somebody dead is not to put you down, it's to rise you up and be more strong. Because that is something what had to happen to everyone. It's not one person you're going through. Everyone have to face that. So when that comes, you just accept it and be joyful. Nah, not cry and sad and, and sit down and worry about what go happen. No, what go happen go take place. Let it take its time. Let it take place. But some people want to rush to make things happen and it'll come out good. When you rush things, it not come out good. If you Building a house and you rush it too much, it ain't come out good. If you build in a, a pit, you dig in a pit in the earth and you rush in, rush in, when you watch it, it's not square. You have some kind of lean. You have to take your time and do things. I heard a great saying, I forget what book it was from or what author, but it was slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Yeah, man. So in the same way, slow yeah. is you know just as man. good as fast. But yeah, when you when you're slow, you still get the work done. You understand? That's why I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be talking about the running part with you over there. Sometimes the man behind, he's slow. But at a, at a certain time, you see he is in front. How he, how he reached there? Nobody can tell besides he. But the people, the people clap him and say, yeah, yeah. You know he was behind and he ended up getting the first. Nobody knows how he do it, but he alone know that. He alone could explain how that happened. Nobody else. So the, the last man could be the first and the first could be the last. You understand? But it's just so life goes. Take it one day at a time. Boom, boom, boom. Step by step. If it's 12 steps, you can stay the first one and try to reach the two, 12 of the go far. Or you got to get the next ladder and the ladder is look like a step already. So you don't need that ladder again. If you over as I'm saying. You, you climb in a step and you want to reach quite up there. How you get there? You want to get a ladder now to put so you could reach up there. Mm. But you don't pass two, three, four, five, six. You don't pass them there. You just go right up to the 12. That'll go good. You go drop again. Oh, your ladder goes <laughs> yeah. off the first stair. <laughs> <laughs> Making you know you have to start from foundation to go up. Everything is from foundation. Nothing you build is not on foundation. You build your life on a foundation. You know where you're going, you know what to do, you know how to do it, you know? You know the time and place of things. Because things just happen when you don't expect it, but you have to look out for the unexpected things, you know? And when the unexpected things come, give thanks that it, it make you learn from it.
because you never know that could have happened and you see it happen in your eyes. Give thanks that you see it happen. I've had some experiences like that this year and then after it's done, the storm is over, you get kind of amazed that you even dealt with yeah. those kind of things and yeah. then, you, then you are almost thankful for it. Oh. Yeah. I went through that yeah, hard yeah. time, and now I feel like you do feel stronger. Yeah, you, you must feel like stronger to know. But in the moment, it's it's much harder to yeah, it's, feel it's that a, way. It's a sad thing to go through it. But yeah. after you go through it, and you sit back and you think about what happened and how it happened, it gives you joy to know that you standing that you could talk about it. Absolutely. You know, it gives you more strength to live, so it could make you prepare more for next time. Next time you, you're living in a place where you know if this time could just come, shh, you will say, no, I need some way that when this time come, you could just pass over my house and go over so and do interfere with me. You give strength to build a better place, a better foundation. The foundation is the best. Everything starts from the foundation. Earth foundation. You know what I mean? See, last year. Everything when you don't know you don't know nothing that people go start and you don't have a foundation. You understand? Yeah. If you want to go to school to school to learn certain things, you have a foundation for that. You have a starting point and a finishing point. That's how you get your you level and you all level and you think when you reach the finishing point. But all the time you, you you're in the starting ground, you're learning until you reach at the level where you could say, all right, I know this, I know that, I know how to do this. And then the, the teacher who teaching you now, see it in you that you is progressive. You mean what you say, you know what you're doing. You, you does have mistake, but you still could correct that mistake. Because mistake is there to make and correct, it's not just to leave it there. When you make a mistake, don't just say, oh, it's a mistake. No, correct it. And when you correct it, you learn. That is a learning process right there for you. Every day we learn. We learn things every day. I learn every day. I don't know if other people. Every day I learn a, a different. I learned thing. a lot of stuff today already. Yeah, man. <laughs> you see, just by you coming to yeah. I and me and you sit on and reason I got, I learning things. I might mm, learn something from what you saying, but I learning just being with you, because it opened my eyes and my cranium to learn. Feel the same way, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, you know. You open your eyes to see things that you never think you would have seen. That's how learning is. You learn every day. You know? I love the idea too of learning from anyone because even watching a little baby or something. Yeah, well, baby learn, baby you learn a lot from babies. Yeah, that's that's the part I never thought about. Like, oh, like what do yeah. you learn from a baby? But yeah. even what you're talking about, this this sort of presence and living day by day. Yeah. Watching a baby be completely unaware of yeah. that there's a tomorrow mm -hmm. makes it you consider it that's yourself. That's you know? the reason why we got to care for them, the babies. We have to care for them because it's a learning point with we yeah, as big people. It's learning we more for the parents. We the yeah, parents. we're learning how to how to handle them, how to bring them up, how to take care of them until they reach a certain age where they go say, all right, mommy, I could take care of me own. Daddy, I could take care of me own. You don't have to kill yourself to mind me no more. I could mind myself. You have to reach to the point. But at the same time, when they're small, you have to take care of them, the baby, because you're learning from them. They don't just they like a piece of tool, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a two-way street. It's a learning a, process. Yeah, and a learning thing. Yeah. Or you don't need to, you know, you don't need a Stanford professor to learn. Oh, no, 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 like no. Anyone out there. No, most things we learn, we don't need to listen to professors alone to learn certain things. Because we got our own brain and our own mentality to learn things. The Creator makes everyone unique in his own image and likeness. That's what he te tell us and that's what it is, right? So if, if the Creator make you in his own image of unlikeness, he make you that you could do things what he need to do, not what you want to do and go your own way and you say, no, yeah, you're right. You, you're wrong but you're saying you're right. No, you have to mm -hmm. accept when you're wrong and accept when you're right. When you're right is a power you get. When you're wrong, you fall. Everybody look at you and say, oh, looky, what, uh, what kind of man is he? When you do the right thing, they want to come and hug you, they want to brace you, they want to shake your hand. They want to call you, hi, how are you doing? You know? So it's a learning process every day. Every day is a learning process.
You never start learn. Stop learning. When you when you're young, you learn certain things differently. And when you get in a next age group, you learn a, a next thing. And when you in did I say middle age, and then you pass middle age going to the next stage of life, it's a different learning again. You got to learn how to take care of yourself more. You got to know how to communicate with people more because you get in our age just now, somebody have to take care of you. You understand? Yeah, it's hard to think of. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just think about that, you know, because. I ain't going to be like that every day of my life. And sometimes I might need help from somebody. When I say help, I don't mean coming and help me to give me food and things. You know, I mean, help maybe I might be able to go down town. Somebody could go in town for me. I might be mm -hmm. able to go in Greenville. Somebody could go in Greenville for me. You know what I mean? But so long I'm in my house and I have my strength in my body, I, I could cook and do them things. I, 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 you know what I mean? It's just life we live in, man. That's it. Yeah, Thanks live for it. life, man. Yeah, man. Life is the greatest. Life is great, and I, yeah, I'm loving it here. It's been yeah. such a trip already. Yeah, Guinea is a nice place, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, a nice, a beautiful place. You just have to get to know the people and know how to move around. Because you have certain people, they have that ignorant mentality. You know, all where you go, you have that. But I'm just talking about Guinea yeah, some people in Guinea they have a kind of ignorant mentality. And some again, they, they just, they on their own. Like they look out to learn new things. They want to stay so and that is them. So if you try to overcome them with this thing they're talking about there and you try to show them an next way, you come like, you're stupid, you're good, and that will cause enemy because they, they don't like you talk to them in the truth. They don't like to hear the truth. Most people in Grenada don't like the truth. When you talk the truth, they offend big time. And that's why I can't deal with That's why I like to stay by myself. And because I might say something and it might hurt somebody not thinking to hurt them. You understand? And I don't want to be like that, so I don't want people to come and to watch behind me back so and watch so to see who come in. I want to walk <laughs> straight and just joy, you know, happy and when I say happy, I don't mean you have to have plenty of things. You're just happy inside to know you're living and you could do what you want and, you know, enjoy life. You see the trees blowing, so you listen to the song the trees make, you know, all that is life. So they were how oh, I live my life, just living, for living. It know? seems like you chose an ideal spot to live the life. Like, yeah, exactly well, like you said you wanted. Yeah, telling you the truth. In America, you know, I had a vision. My vision is not like how people are saying they want to dream and the, oh, in the night I, I had a vision. No, not a vision. I mean, I'm thinking of the things I'm thinking about I should do in my life. That's my vision things I had in my mind to do from since I was like a youth and I never get the opportunity to do it. So as I get big and I understand more in life, I know what life is more, the quality of life and you know, all what go with life, I get to know what it is about. So I don't want to make mistake with that, that thing they call life, I don't want to make no mistake with it. So I try to live it the best way. So when I was in America and I come here, I don't just come here to see them. I had a, a plan. I had my plan was just to be quiet, humble, love everyone, but just leave me alone. <laughs> you know, I'm like a bee. If you if you come and tease me in the nest, I bite you. But if you don't come, I, I stay there and make me nice in me. You're just there useful box, you know? pollinating. Yeah, I was just there in my box making me nice. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can't tease me, I'll go bite you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just that. <laughs> life is great, Rasta. I can't don't talk about life, man. Life is great. And I enjoy anything green either. Very much. More than in America. America, I enjoy it working for the money to buy certain things what I need. Not want. I don't deal with want. Mm. I deal with needs. You know? 
So I don't buy things and put on. When I buy something, I use it. That's why I need it. If I want something, I buy it. I see the other store in it because you want it. Want is something different to needs. How long were you in America for again? It's 36 years. 36 years, from 82? Yeah, to 18. Wow. And 2018, I come, I go, and I come back, and I never go back. You know, it's really interesting because people always talk about the grass is greener on the other side. I'm sure there's a lot of people in Grenada that would love to go make money in yeah, America. Yeah, people here will. But then you also have people that have experienced it and come back, and you know about yeah, the green grass yeah, over there. Yeah, and you yeah. came back, so that's really interesting because a lot of people can chat about Babylon this, Babylon that, but if you haven't lived both sides, All right, you let me really give, understand. Let me give you a little piece of scene. Where is my scene? I don't know if people see it. If you have a garden, a garden is where we just plant vegetable food and things to eat. You make, we call it garden. I'm going to make a garden. We're going to cut down a piece of land and we farm it. Right? If you have that, before you start planting, the grass does be green. You have to cut it down. When you cut it down, you plant it, you think that grass will stay green every day. One day it will dry, when sun comes, the sun will burn it out. So you have to get our next area you now to plant something where you need the moisture. So that hard part, you know, you leave it and you go and get a soft part to plant something. That's what some people do. But I don't do that. I work on the same part. Because no one day the grass will get green again. Mm. Today it's dry, <laughs> but tomorrow you will get green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm so, that, you know, as I say, man, that is just life. Right? What do people think in America when you said, okay, you know what? I think I'm going back to Grenada and I'm oh. not coming back. Well, I'll, 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 people here too. People in my country asking me what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Telling you the truth. My mother asks me that and she tell me, go back where I come out. And I'm I from a Grenada. I'm a Grenadian. But she tell me, go back where I come from. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that country I come from is a, a visiting country for my life, you know. Because yeah. it's visitor, they visit America, I don't born there. I'm born in Grenada, so I am a Grenadian. I'm not an American. I didn't born over there. You could get citizenship, you could get all things over there, but I didn't born over there. So that don't worry me. Coming here is not a problem to me. The people who say I should not have come or should go back, or th they just don't know what to say, man, because life is not like that. Some people, as you say, they think over there is green. And when they reach over, they see dry grass. What they go do? Mm -hmm. They go eat the dry grass like the horse. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> and that's pretty dry. Yeah, it's well dry. Because sometimes you leave it for months on the ground before you eat it. You understand? So the grass has mm -hmm. to be good and bad how you see it in life. You can't expect life to just go good with you every day and nothing will happen and then you say oh when something happens now you cry oh, oh something happened no man you have to strong just as how you strong when something good with you strong when something fall bad with you so you could rise again but if when you fall you stay and cry oh in the bible have a place you say that when you fall it's not to stay on the ground it's to rise and if if you don't rise you go wait for somebody to rise you up and sometimes somebody never rise you up. So it's good for you as the man who fall, try to rise up yourself from what you fall from. If you're doing a big business, we just we you spend some money and the business and go right, that don't mean you have to take a rope and hang yourself because the business don't go right. Try again. When you try and you fail, try again. Never try and say, oh, that ain't going to work. I don't need that. No, try again. You try to fail and not fail to try. If you fail to try, you is like a dead man walking. You see that movie, right? Dead man walking. I don't know. I need to watch that one. It's a dread movie, man. Okay. Yeah, a dread, dread, dread movie. Dead man walking. So, yeah, some people like that. They have life. But they don't know what the meaning of life. They don't know how to live that life they have. That important thing they call life. They don't know how to live that. And every day the same people talking about the Bible and what God say. And God tell you don't do that. And when you go down the road you see they're doing the same thing they're telling you God said don't do. So what they're doing? 
which life they live in. I just try to ask myself so much question about some people and I can't get the answer because when I see them, it's only folly they're dealing with. No thing to uplift nobody, only folly straight. They, they don't have no reasoning. You, you try to show them something, you might touch a little point where they're doing the same thing. And they get mad with you. Oh, he's talking about me, man. <laughs> because you, you do the thing last week and I come talking about it this week. But it's not your name I mentioned. It's not you because I didn't see when you do it last week. But just because I'm talking about the same thing what you do last week. Oh, Jinga talking about me. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you start to say things. And that's how people is, you know. And why did they so? It's because they don't know their life. They don't know how to live. You understand? Sometimes you get ignorant with certain things, but you know how to cool long. You have to know how to cool long. Otherwise, you just escalate to a big thing. And when he overcome you, it's like you get mad, you, you do crime. You start pulling weapon and you start doing a whole heap of thing what you shouldn't do, and then you're sorry, to, you do it. You say, Oh, sorry, you go in the jail and you're crying. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to go in no jail. Me, I don't want to go in no <laughs> Me jail. Me neither, man. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're too nice to go in jail, man. Yeah. Hey, police officer, I want to tell you, please, I don't want to go in no jail. Because I don't do no crime. Crime is not on my line. You understand? Crime is never on my line, you understand? But if a man come and play with my mind and mess up my mentality, you don't know what could happen. I never say what I could have, what I could do because I don't know how it could reach when something happen until it happen. You know, me and you might argue and I don't know how far the argument will reach, but I don't want to argue with people. More cool is better. You know what I mean? But you still can't let people take you like a fool, you know? You have to stand up for your right. Marcus Gavi, Malcolm X, that is the man who give me strength. When I read the philosophy of Marcus Gavi, I get some strength. Because Marcus Gavi making you know how, to, how you have to be strong as a black man. You know what I mean? Malcolm X, the same thing. He make you feel strong. You understand? Yeah, a lot of more men, but I just show, showing you these two men. These two men I just think about. The action when they was young. The things they do. And what they say in the mouth. Because words, song and power, that is a strong thing. And when you say something, it's not only one person here. It. A lot of people hear it. The whole world hear it. So the, the things on Marcus Gavi and Malcolm X say, is the whole world hear it. And I love that with them. They're afraid to speak. When you're afraid to speak, you don't get the truth out of a man. You see when a man is afraid to speak, he speaks the truth. He don't hide nothing. Mm -hmm. Because you're afraid to speak. But when you're afraid to speak, you can't get the truth out of a man. You go like you, you go tell you, you go go wrong all around there because you're afraid. You're afraid if he say something, you will upset you. So the truth goes stay inside him and burn him. And you don't want to let it go because you know it's the truth, you know, but you're afraid to upset you, you're afraid to upset the people who live in like that. No, you say it. And that's how Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and Marcus Garvey was. But Martin Luther King go a kind of way now that he move demonstrate. You can only want to demonstrate. You have to show people how to live. Demonstration does cause problem with some people. When you go and demonstrate on the road, people start pelting, battle pelting, dispel. Like, it come like you're having one now. We don't want war. We want peace. <laughs> we want if you're demonstrating, demonstrate for peace. You know? No, no, war. Don't pelt no battle, don't pelt no stone. Let the word, song, and power work. No, no, stone and battle and pieces of stick and breaking people's window glass and doing upsetting things. No work. Mm -hmm. No, man, that life do good. I know good life to live. If every day you're living on you, you want to demonstrate and go and break up people's thing, what kind of life you live in? Eh? Tell me now. You go down the road, you do like this man, you want to mash up your house. You want to burn down your house. You go there, you do like this woman, you want to bust your head. You want to... No, you can't live so. We don't come to live so on the earth. All of is one. One blood. You cut me, you see blood. You cut yourself, you see blood. Anybody you cut is red blood. No, no. 
thing, blood, and you know what I mean? <laughs> so I deal with them kind of thing, they're natural. So the things what I, I do in, I try to uplift myself and uplift people with it too, because by uplifting myself, I will uplift up a man or a woman, a child, you know, a little boy might see me and say, oh, you know, that's Jinga. Jinga, they say something, you know, and I check it already, you know. Because that's how we have to live. Each one teach one. I don't know all, and nobody knows all, but we could learn from each other. I might not be the good man that, that people say, who people think I am, but I know how I am inside. It's only me know me. Nobody else know me. They see me. They speak to me. They, they have conversation with me. But they don't get into know me. Knowing me is two different things than seeing me. You know, when you know a man, you know how a man think. You know certain things you say, no, he ain't gonna do that. He he's not like that. He because you get to know the person ways and you know. You can't force everybody to love you neither. You know, some will hate, you hate us and you have uh, enough man out, they hate me just through certain things because oh, oh I live. Because they want me to live like them and I don't live like them. I live like me. Even Rasta man too, you know, some Rasta man they watching me funny and say, oh jing all this. But oh them have to overstand life is to live. And Open up self in a position to live something good in the life. You understand? Now every day they just go down there and talk about people and talk about politics. Put politics aside. Put church aside. I, I put all them things aside, me, you know. Me don't put them things in my life, you know. Politics and church, them do they in my life. Because if I have to study them things and them, it making me have enemy. Because politics making enemy, church is making enemy. So I don't want to be with them things. The Bible says, walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, not sit there in the seat of the scoffer, the scornful. Don't even eat and drink from them. Don't walk in the house. So if, if I walk in the house, I'm supporting them. That is the church I'm talking about, because them people in the church is hypocrites. And if I go around them, I join the hypocrite gang. And I don't want to join the hypocrite gang. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! You know what I mean? I so me see it just now because politics again. They say, all right, come and vote for me. I will build the bridge down in Koshu 10 feet long instead of 4 feet because they put it 4 feet. You say, all right, I will make it more long for you. And then people say, yeah, we will get a long bridge next. Yeah, as soon as we put a man there, we get a bridge. When they put him there, he forgot the bridge. No, because <laughs> the bridge, the bridge is the first bridge is starting is the bridge in the pocket. You have a bridge in the pocket. That bridge has to build first. So when that build bridge, you go study outside and go and say, all right, let me start that day with the, tell them we go do that. We don't must do that, but let me do that to tell them we do something still. So by the next year, two, three years, they still come back and tell you they go vote. We go down build the bridge. And the bridge never start build. So I don't deal with politics. You know, I leave them, let them do the thing, you know. I don't curse about them, I don't vex them, I don't bad talk them. I just do take part with them to say, oh, eyes are this and eyes are that. Me not nothing like that. I just a human being living on the earth and creation, you know, natural. More natural is better for me, man. You don't yeah. want to be mayor one day? No, because I hear on the news the other day, Julian, if I am some trouble, he and um, Trump. Oh God! And he was me. So if I, if I be the mayor, I don't want to be like me. Like I want to be a mayor to control the city and give help the poor and needy and you know what I mean? Is that what they're supposed to do? But they don't do it. The politician and them supposed to help the needy and the poor people and thing. But they put in the bridge first in the pocket, as I say. They're making sure the bridge build so they could work on it nice, smooth, and they don't care about you. You understand? Know Politics, I don't do in that. Mm. Churches, I don't do in that. I mean, I no religion thing. I don't, I don't support them. You know what I mean? They, want, they could vex with me for you know, I don't support them. I don't support church. I don't support politics. They, they, they are wrong. I know I live in around them. I can't change that. They could preach what they preach. I don't 
vex them, they can tell me what to preach and what to pre or what not to preach. My philosophy is not them only. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every man has his own philosophy in life. You know what I mean? So well, it really feels like you have your own world up here, you know? Yeah, well... You don't have to deal with what you don't want to deal with, no, and you have your nature here, and... Because right now, I don't want no water in pipe, and I don't want no light. Not to say I don't want it. I need it, but not at right now. I could live so far years before putting anything. Mm -hmm. Because I know how to live without light, without water in pipe. Because it got a river and green it full of spring. Spring water, anywhere yeah. you go, you get spring, you know. But the people don't taking care of some of them, so they just stay in bush. But anyway, if you go in the back there, you get spring. If you go higher up, you get spring all over, man. You go yeah. so you get, yeah. Wow. Cool. But people just don't take care of some. Some of them just run and, you know what I mean? So it's not something you need to say you must get a pipe in your house. Was it hard at first after being in New York to come here and then you don't you don't have electricity and oh no the, no the well I, I did live in over by my my family over ah, there okay. close to him the allow we go come out in one yard you know me and him tape and kitaka and them yeah allow we come out in one yard one family man we just to say some of the family kind of shaky you know what I mean and to the shaky one now I don't want to deal with them and. Yeah, someone more straight because the man and them the sense I come here. Maybe if it wasn't for them, I'd go back. If it wasn't for he, this man right there. Man, when me I come in Grenada, that is this first person I see down and reason with as a man. You know what I mean? And me and him reason and we stay. I see them as me blood. I don't see them just like cousin. I see them like me blood. You understand? Know it's just to say we don't come out from the same mother, but we come out in the same blood. You know what I mean? So them is my blood, direct blood. You know what I'm saying? So them is the people I, I hold up to since I come, man. Because you have someone is my age over there drinking rum, I don't want to have nothing to do with them. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. I don't want to have nothing to do with them. We can only drink and get drunk and cussing and get none. I can't deal with that, Asta. No, man. No, I can't deal with that. Yeah, some people when you go around them, if you don't give them a beer, they vex with you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, some people if you don't buy a drink of rum, they vex with you. Oh, make a drink now and you don't do that, they vex. But you can't ask me that because me don't drink. You understand? <laughs> so, so they, That's the they, best way. So they move vex because they can come and say, drink, give me a five dollar to buy eight of rum. No, I don't give them. Give me something to go and cook, yeah. You go and cook food to put in your stomach, no rum. You know what I mean? Them thing they made all day, them thing. <laughs>